Hi guys, всем привет! Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food, Love Dian, and I'm so happy to have you here. Today we're gonna have a very challenging recipe, uh, and it's more for those who love to challenge themselves and who are slightly advanced bakers. We're gonna be making brioche loaves. Uh, brioche is basically a very, very sort of soft, fluffy uh, dough, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this recipe. is actually from my culinary school, uh, from French culinary school. So it's very old fashioned recipe. It varies slightly from the ones that I've seen online, as this is the proper way how we, we were taught to do it in school. So I really hope you enjoy it. It works, it's amazing, it's very, very delicious. You can use this brioche bun with anything you can put butter and jam you could put nutella peanut butter you can make savory and sweet fillings in the middle and it freezes really well as well and it keeps soft for a couple of days so it's really really amazing recipe you can get access to all my recipes uh, there is a link just under this video in the description box down below and this will give you an access to all my recipes when you become a member now let's get baking in a jug you want to add eggs, milk, sugar and salt and mix everything nice and well. Into a stand mixer you're going to add flour and yeast and then mix it through. Once it's all mixed together you're going to then add your wet ingredients. You want to keep mixing everything on low speed with a dough hook attachment for about 45 minutes. You're then going to gradually add the butter with a mixer running on medium speed, scraping down the sides of the bowl as necessary. So keep mixing, then stop for a bit, make sure you run the spatula around the sides and then just keep going. After you add all your butter, which will take some time because you don't want to add too much before the other butter is incorporated. Um, but once it has been fully incorporated, you want to mix it on medium speed for about 15 minutes or until the dough begins to pull away from the sides of the bowl. I personally usually set a timer for about 10 to 15 minutes and then just check on my dough later and I usually have the best results. Once you're done with your dough, you want to lightly grease with butter a large bowl and then add your dough inside and then you're going to cover it with cling film and leave the dough overnight in the fridge. Now this is essential to leave your dough overnight in a fridge so it can set and uh, all the butter will incorporate in our dough. After a day, we're going to remove the dough from the fridge and we're going to divide the dough in half. I'll be making one brioche bun and one brioche loaf. You can do that as well or just make two of the same. This is completely up to you. For the brioche buns, I'm going to divide the dough into six to eight even pieces. And then depending on what mold you will use, um, you can sort of decide how many pieces you're going to need. I also suggest putting parchment paper inside the mold and greasing it with butter or oil. This way you will make sure that your um, bread is not going to get stuck there. After that you're going to brush lightly with egg wash, um, brushing away any excess that I can accumulate. And then we're going to create a brioche loaf with the second half like I show you here. Once everything is done, we're going to place cling film over both baking trays and proof the dough for about one to two hours so it can double in size. You can find out um, if the dough is ready by touching it and it should spring back to the touch and not collapse. Once you think your dough is ready, you're going to gently brush the dough again with egg wash and bake it in a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit or until the crust is a rich golden color and it fully springs back to the touch when pressed. 
I usually bake mine for about 30 to 35 minutes, uh, but I recommend you check after 15 minutes. Um, and if it's browning too fast, you can always cover it with foil and just keep baking. Once it's baked, you want to remove the pans and leave it to cool down completely. I personally like to brush it with some butter to give it a nice shiny look when it's done. And it, the house smells absolutely amazing. You're going to love this recipe. Now just to show you how easily it pulls away. It's still very hot but it is so soft, so delicious. Absolutely one of my favorite uh, buns to make. You can have this with butter, with jam, with any sort of meat or cheese, whatever you like really, or just on its own. Absolutely amazing.